My name is Mike Wooldridge, and I write uh, books on Photoshop and web design for Wiley. What I thought was so great when I first encountered the web was that really anybody can build a web page if they just learn a little bit about HTML. And anybody with an idea can create a web page about it and publish it to a worldwide audience, you know, in not too much time. One reason is it's been a long time coming. Uh, HTML 4.01 was released in 1999, you know, more than 10 years ago. And, you know, 10 years on the web is like forever. I think another reason is there's a lot of great stuff in HTML5, you know, related to uh, audio and video, video and multimedia. Um, and there's also a lot of um, what are called semantic tags, which are tags to allow you to, to give more meaning to your pages, and, um, and which will help search engines um, spider pages more effectively and help web browsers really display them more effectively, especially on the wide variety of uh, devices people look at web pages now uh, using. In the early days, it kind of took the magazine paradigm when, where you're taking texts and pictures and putting them up on static pages on the web and people would would download them and look at them and not really interact with them a lot. But it, you know that's changed a lot these days. There's a lot more interactivity. When you're putting content up on the web, you're expecting people to you know, comment on, on, on that content, uh, interact with that content, change the content, and uh, you know think of sites like Wikipedia, which are all about that. So that makes web development you know, more complex and more, more challenging and you need to learn, in addition to, to, to languages like HTML, you need to learn scripting languages like PHP, and you really have to have, uh, you have to be a jack of all trades and, and know a lot of different things to, to create these more complex interactive websites. You need to know HTML, that's sort of the, the core language for creating web page, pages, but you also need to know CSS, which you use to, to style your page and make it look pretty. You need to know some JavaScript to kind of interact, add interactivity to your page. And you also need to know some scripting languages, uh, such as PHP, which are important to you know, uh, communicate with databases, which are going to hold a, a lot of the content that you're going to be putting on your page. When you're developing your first site, I always say, Start off using a simple text editor on your computer. Try to avoid using these very fancy uh, WYSIWYG um, development environments, at least at the start, because if you're using a simple text editor, you're going to be writing all your HTML tags by hand. You're going to have to debug your code um, by really getting to know those tags and, and, and getting to know the, the code you're dealing with. And if you're using a, a, a fancier environment, you it's going to shield you from a lot of the, the raw coding that, that, that if, you're, if you're writing things by hand, you're really going to get to know it and become a, a better web developer because of that. If users come to your website and, and can't figure out how to use it and can't figure out uh, what to do with the controls they're faced with, they're not going to use it and they're not going to come back to your website and they're not going to interact with it. And, provide the content that so many websites really um, rely upon um, to be interesting. A lot of websites you know, rely on a lot of commenting by their users or for them to submit content like images or, uh, or um, stories or what have you. So um, if you don't create a good user experience for the people who come to your websites, uh, they're not going to interact with it, they're not going to come back to it, and in the, in, at the end of the day, you're not going to have a successful website.